It is time for the October Paracozy Book Club choices. So you get two videos from me today. Plus Courtney had a video. So lots of videos happening this first two weeks of September. All right, the theme for October is vampires. So I got six vampire choices for you. So let's get into those. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Lisa, author of the Frosted Misfortunes cozy mystery series starring my own little kitty cat, Lucky. On this channel, we talk all about mysteries, whether those are books, TV shows, or movies. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. We post new videos every Tuesday or extra videos like today because it's Para Cozy Book Club choice or every videos every single day because it's Cozy Mystery Awards Day. I know you're probably like, I am so sick of seeing videos of you, but let's get into today. I got six choices for you. The first one is Sucks to Be Me, a paranormal women's fiction novel. This is book number one in the first Fangs Club by Kristen Painter. I actually read this book and I loved it, which is surprising because I'm not really into paranormal as much anymore. But the book is, if you're not familiar with PWF, definitely check out my video on that. But it's basically women who are 40 and over having a midlife crisis. So this woman is 49 and her name is Bella Donna. So very Italian like roots and her husband was in the mafia and then she ends up getting killed and turned into a vampire. But She's able to turn that all around and then become the queen of all of the vampires. So very good book, very like strong, like women's empowerment, uh, which I am a big fan of. So that's the first choice. The second one is Spelling the Tea, a magical tea room mystery. This is first in the series by Erin Johnson. Now this used to be called the Vampire Tea Room Mysteries. And I think I've posted it before. I just love this book. And it has all these super hunky vampires in it, uh, as well as a witch. So she's a witch and she's over in England, but it's not like dorky English. It's like all the fun English stuff, like small towns, bookstores, and a tea room with a bunch of hot men, kind of like Chippendales, but with vampires instead. And so anyways, so there is a mystery. <laughs> one of the vampires is killed and she's trying to help figure out who it is as well as kind of like insinuate herself into the tea room because she doesn't really have a job. She kind of is just like, I will do marketing for you. I will do this because she's about to lose her visa and then would have to go back to the US, which she doesn't want to do because all of her magical witchy powers are tied to a stream or a um, river or a crick creek. I don't know what it's called. Some body of water there is magical that she needs to stay nearby in order to like keep her witchy powers up. Uh, the third book is Moon Dance. This is a Samantha Moon paranormal mystery. It is the first in the Vampire for Hire books and it does have like a grittier cover and I've never read J.R. Moon so I think they're a little bit more hardcore but it did say Stephanie Plum meets Supernatural. So keeping that in mind it sounds like it's going to be light and funny um, but also a tad bit like hardcore with like almost urban fantasy-ish. So that is a third choice. Plus it had like 1900 reviews that were almost all five stars. So I feel like this could be a good book for us to read for book club. This one is about a federal agent who is killed, turned into a vampire, and now does private investigation. She used to be a soccer mom, so it's a little confusing because obviously she had kids, but they don't really mention that. And then now she is doing a case for a guy who had his life like... Uh, someone tried to kill him, but he survived six gunshots to the head. So obviously he must be a vampire as well. And she's also, the description said that she finds him super sexy. So I don't know what happened to her husband and kids, uh, but I guess if we read it, we'll find out. And it's probably obviously good because nobody really dinged her for that in the book reviews. The next book is Adventures of a Vegan Vamp by Kate Lawley. This is first in the Vegan Vamp Mysteries. So it's a vampire that is vegan, which we're all kind of like, huh, how does that work? I don't even know what this book is about. Um, in fact, it doesn't even tell you in the description. It just says she wakes up with a hangover and is vegan. So uh, it has a ton of positive reviews that had like 1,300 five-star reviews. So it's probably pretty good. This book is Axed at the Ice Machine by Juliet Harper. This is a Maddie Tucker paranormal cozy mystery. This is first in the series and she has ghost clients that come to her. It didn't really say what she is, but I thought it was a historical paranormal when I first saw the cover, but it's just this husband and wife who go to this 
parties, like themed weekend outing at a hotel. And then the husband goes out to get some ice and then he never comes back. So he ends up as a ghost with a big ax in his head. And I guess she, whatever, she must just be maybe somebody who can see ghosts is trying to help him figure out who did it. Last book is Dead and Married, a romantic vampire cozy mystery by Andy Lowe. So this book has like a ton of things going on. She inherits her family's vampire matchmaking business, but she seems to be organizing a vampire wedding. She calls the bride a bridezilla, and then a family artifact goes missing. And what else? There's some hot guy that she's attracted to, but it sounds like she has to set up. So tons of things going on in this book. And uh, this is first in the series, which I don't think, let me see, I don't think there are any other books in the series. It just came out in April, so it would be a new series. All right, so that is a wrap for all of the choices for the Paracosi Book Club chat for October. Now remember, the Paracosi Book Club is part of the Cozy Escape Book Club. There is no more Facebook group. We got rid of all the Facebook groups. We are only on Patreon. It is 100% free to participate in both book clubs. Can't emphasize that enough. There's a feature on Patreon uh, that is just the follow button. I don't know why they don't make that more obvious, like a $0 option, but you just go to the Cozy Escape Patreon page. I will leave a link to that below. Hit the follow button, and then you will get all the notifications for all book club events. And uh, you can vote for this month's book. So make sure to vote before we meet for book club next Wednesday, where we will be announcing the winner of the vote. All right. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day. And I will see you guys tomorrow because I have a video coming out every day for September 1st through the 10th. All right. Bye.